Thank you for watching videos by Family Travel Photos. On June 6, 2021, we visited Snake River Overlook at Grand Teton National Park. Stay tuned for great photos and helpful tips on visiting Snake River Overlook. This is an excerpt from our June 6, 2021 daily vlog, where we visited several locations at Grand Teton National Park. If you want to see great pictures and hear more than 50 tips on visiting Grand Teton National Park, watch the complete June 6 vlog. The link is in the upper right corner. On June 6, we started our day by visiting Snake River Overlook. This overlook provides a scenic view of the winding Snake River set against the Teton Mountains. More importantly, this is the place where a famous photograph was taken by America's greatest landscape photographer, Ansel Adams. As the National Park Service says, Ansel Adams stood here in 1942 and took this photograph of the vast unspoiled beauty of the Snake River and jagged Teton Range. The National Park Service hired Adams in 1941 to capture nature as exemplified by national parks. At the time, local ranchers were battling a proposal to include the Jackson Hole Valley in Grand Teton National Park. Adams' photographs helped to promote and protect western U.S. landscapes. We stayed on the overlook for our trip, but for more adventurous visitors, you can hike down to the river's edge for a different perspective. Also, from Snake River Overlook, you can drive to Dead Man's Bar Road and drive down to the river. For photographers, this is hallowed ground because this is where Ansel Adams took his famous photograph of uh, the Grand Tetons and the Snake River Overlook. Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool just to be here. The trees have grown and they've kind of messed with the, uh, the scene as Ansel Adams saw it. But still, it's a, it's a great experience to be here where he stood and took such a great photograph. Here's some tips for visiting Snake River Overlook. This is a good spot for a sunrise shot. It's not as popular as other places in the park, so you should be able to come here anytime and find parking. As I said before, the growing trees have diminished this view of the Snake River. To actually recreate Adam's picture, you'd have to fly a drone. Don't fly a drone. It's against Park Service rules to fly in a national park. Even with the trees, it's still a pretty location, and a famous location as well. For photographers, you can use wide angle all the way out to long lens. The overlook is farther away from the mountains than other locations in the park, so you can make use of longer lenses to isolate the mountains if you'd like. You can visit this spot in about 15 minutes, more if you want to set up and try things with different camera gear. Remember, we visited several locations at Grand Teton National Park on June 6th, including all the places you see on screen now. For 50 plus travel tips and great photos for those locations, watch our June 6th daily vlog. Click the eye icon in the upper right corner and select the vlog to watch it now. If you're enjoying this video and find the tips to be helpful, I hope you'll click the thumbs up icon and send a like our way. On screen you'll find another excerpt showcasing a different place at the park, so be sure to watch that now. You'll also find a complete list of our Wyoming videos. Before you go, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we publish again. And as always, please leave your comments.